Good afternoon from uh, the Cliff Walk. Cliff Walk uh, from Bray to Greystones. Haven't been on this walk in probably three years. So we're at the remains of uh, Lord Mead's Lodge and uh, you have the, uh, the entrance here, the gates, what's left of the gates, the entrance. And I uh, used to charge a penny, except on Friday. The state house was Kilrodery House, which is the other side of Bray Head. And uh, so this was uh, the steps leading up to the top of Bray Head and down below as well. So what we have here is information on the uh, Lord Mead's Lodge. So uh, the estate house is Kilrodery House, now open to the public. Lord Mead also constructed a carriage walk along the top of Rayhead for his guests. This was open to the public. The lift walk was closed on Fridays when it was reserved for Lord Mead's own use. He had its own, he had his own bridge over the railway. Uh, he owned all these lands, of course. And uh, so the steps above the toll house led to more Lord Mead's estate. The, the stones for the cottage and the toll gate were collected from the immediate area, with the exception of the granite and the red brick which has brought the ace to the site. So we'll just have a look here. There's the remains of a fireplace here. Let's have a look in here. There's plenty of evidence of red brick. There's the fireplace there. Now the steps leading up to leading up Bray Head, and uh, fortunately the cliff walk, due to coastal erosion, is par partially closed. I'm going to see, going to go up to the Bradison Tunnel and do a video up there. Now you have the steps leading up. There we go. So let's just. Uh, Walk up here and see what we find. This is what I dreamt of when I was in St. Vincent's Hospital of doing this walk. Here I am, months later, doing this walk. So it's a wonderful feeling getting my fitness, fitness levels up. So the walk uh, wasn't a walk initially for the public, it was for uh, the navvies, so they had access to the building of the railway. The railway was opened in October 1855 between Bray and Greystones. But the uh, Brunel came over and, um, uh, you know, it was, uh, initially the railway was meant to go around the other side of Bray Head, but Lord Mead, as did many uh, prominent estate holders of the time, uh, didn't want to see, didn't want to, didn't want to see the railway from his house. There was a snobbery towards the railway. So he gave this side of the Bray Head free to build the line. And Brunel was a consultant and came over. And uh, diminutive man in the stove hat. And uh, instructed them to build trestle. Trestle wooden viaducts. Which were uh, to the detriment of the line really. Neither survived and we're heading towards the location of the 1867 crash where two people died and they had to uh, build tunnels but it wasn't just that, it was the coastal erosion where this lunchtime I won't be able to head down because the coastal erosion itself has impacted this walk where the, the mile long tunnel is that was opened 105 years ago so this is a spectacular piece of the walk coming up to now the Brandy Hole, where uh, smugglers paradise before. So though it was built down here, so uh, it couldn't be visibly seen by the coast guards in either Bray or Greystones. It's very wet along here. Now here we go with a spectacular view. How's that for a view? So down there you have the uh, piers and uh, the remnants of the uh, wooden trestle viaduct and its replacement tunnel here on the right and uh, 
That line was in use till the 1870s when they deviated in line. I'm going to put some dates up because a lot of tunnels were built on this line uh, due to coastal erosion. Uh, that concrete plinth I'm not too sure about. Um, maybe some will know. I don't know whether the line was built over it or the line was raised over it. Not too sure. It's not great underfoot here in these conditions. Now, look at that. Quite spectacular. See the exit of that tunnel and, uh, and the entrance of that tunnel. They must be the two closest tunnels together on this island. Well, it's the most concentration of tunnels on the railway network is this very line. And you get this spectacular view here. It's quite amazing. You wanted to come down here as I said for months, so finally get to come down here. Conditions are are wet and muddy, but it's worth it to get these spectacular views of the railway. There we go. Look at the, there's the former track bed. Now we have in the background, we have Doki Island, Doki Kalani, and uh, Holt. So please subscribe to my channel. I'll, I'll make another video in a few minutes. Just going down to the Brabus Tunnel where the uh, the uh, crash took place in uh, in the 1860s. So please subscribe to my channel. It's free, and uh, catch all you catch you again soon. Thank you.